Hi, and thank you for your interest in our flooring. Now, we'd like to offer some helpful tips on installing your new glue-down indoor-outdoor carpeting. Today, we will be installing our glue-down carpet for use indoors. However, when installing outdoors, make sure the outdoor temperature is between 55 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity between 10% and 65%. Always check on the glue instruction label to clarify the temperature and humidity specifications for installation. First, you'll need the proper tools to complete your project. A carpet knife, a measuring tape, a tucking tool, a bucket of high-quality carpet flooring adhesive, and a trowel with three 30-second V-grooves, and maybe some knee pads for comfort. Make sure your floor has a consistent level surface. Any noticeable low areas, deep cracks, or dips should be filled and smoothed with leveling compound. Sweep and vacuum the floor thoroughly. Roll your carpet out in a workable place and cut it roughly 6 to 8 inches larger than the room. Place the carpet in the room, leaving the 3 or 4 inches extra all around to be trimmed later. Be sure pile direction or any pattern is straight and even with the walls. From here, take a corner of your carpet and pull several feet back towards the center of the room, creating a dog-eared effect. Now, from the center of the folded carpet, pull it and your folds up and back to preferably half the room and lay it down. Starting in one corner, pour a workable amount of glue on the floor. Using your 3 30-second V-grooved trowel, spread the glue evenly over the floor, spreading glue to the wall's edges and corners. Work across the walls and back to the center of the room where your carpet is folded back. It is important your adhesive is set to the proper tack or stickiness. A good general rule is when you pull your finger up from the glue and it legs, creating tinsels or strings, it's ready. Now take the center of the folded carpet and place it back over the glued area. Carefully roll the dog-eared folds back into their corners. Use your carpet core or the top flat side of a push broom to smooth any wrinkles or bubbles, starting from the center and working your way out to the edges. Tuck the edges against the wall and under base molding with your tucking tool, using your carpet knife to remove any excess. And voila, your room is complete. We hope this video has been helpful to you. And again, thank you for your interest in our flooring.